What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and a lot of you dudes are really curious when it comes to the YouTube gaming thing and but then again I, I'd attribute that to about 50% of you. The other 50% don't even think that it's going to be a competitor to Twitch because as you know um, some of you may not know this actually but YouTube gaming is pretty much trying to take Twitch out of the game and they're resorting to some really strategic strategies and at the same time resorting to really underhanded methods as well too because I heard they were trying to buy some motherfuckers out apparently trying to get people to come over to the YouTube gaming side of things from Twitch. Hey man, all's fair in love and war, but goddamn, I can't even lie, dude. YouTube gaming does have a really sexual aesthetic to it, and the reason why I know is because I have an early access preview, but to be honest with you guys, it's not anything too fantastic to brag about right now, and you're going to see the reasons why, but like I said, in terms of aesthetic differences, I definitely like YouTube gaming's layout. So right now, what we are going to be doing is basically taking a look at the early access preview for YouTube gaming. So let's pull up the screen right now. We're at Google, well at least um, uh, at least Chrome's homepage. And what we're gonna be doing now is just going to the YouTube gaming bookmark that I have set up so you guys can see overall how the website looks currently. I don't wanna spend too much time on this, but just kinda to give you guys a little bit of a insider look as to what the hell YouTube gaming is shaping up to be like. So as soon as you open up YouTube gaming, you get to this page. And I'm going to F11 this shit as well too, so that way you can see everything in its full view. So like, one thing I really have to, you know, I really have to put a lot of emphasis on this point is that this is an early access preview. So I'm guessing a lot of the features, a lot of the functionality, and in general, website, you know, directing that this is going to have for the final release is not present here. So this is early access. You're not going to see the final product in any, any sense of the word at all here. This is really pretty much alpha level stuff at this point. So... I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit incomplete to the point where I wouldn't have put this out first because it lacks a lot of things and certain things don't work, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I guess they wanted people to understand the general gist of it. So, um, on the home page, the first thing that you see is live streams that are currently happening right now. And if you shift through this little window here that shows the left and right arrows, you can see who the hell is streaming. But sometimes it also shows videos that aren't live, but just ones that were already done, and I guess they have certain popularity or they attribute that they think you'll like them, so they show it anyways. But for the most part, up at the top window, you see live streams, random ones that they think you'll have an interest in based on games that you've already liked. I never told them I liked League of Legends, yet for some damn reason, it still showcases League of Legends on the front page of YouTube Gaming to me. Maybe that's just a general thing for a mass appeal, but I don't like the fact that they shove that shit in my face. Like, like, come on, bro. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with League, but I never said that I wanted this information in the first place. But of course, this is just a general, you know, preview that isn't anywhere near final. So I'm hopefully in the final one, you can kind of like have some kind of influence as to what the hell you're being shown. Um, so yeah, there, like one thing is because I did like Minecraft in my YouTube gaming like favorites thing, apparently it's just showing me mostly Minecraft streams, or at least that's the only thing that's really going on right now. And then as you move down, you also see streams of different things that are live right now. So this guy who's playing Five Nights 4, and this guy who's playing um, GTA 5 online. And one thing that I do wish is that maybe for the streamer's name, they made it a little bit easier to make out from everything else. Because right now, this guy's name is Nukem De Nukem Dukem. His name is Nukem Dukem, but you can't really see that. Like, I mean, it has this icon there and whatnot. And I guess you see the thumbnail of the live stream itself in full view. But I wish they made maybe his name a bit bigger, a bit more standout-ish, you know? Maybe made it pop out at you. So that way you know exactly whose stream it is and the thumbnail. I feel like that's information that should probably stand out a bit more from everything else. And, um, yeah, you can just basically see everything that's happening live. So in this bottom section, they only show you who's live at the moment. As you can see from the little indicator here, which has the button, and it says live. So that's a bit more convenient, I guess, than up here when you're just showing random stuff and even videos that have nothing to do with live streaming in the first place. Although YouTube gaming does focus on a lot more than just live streams, but that is the primary thing that it's usually trying to aim at. So I don't know. I feel as if, you know, the live stream focus should be top priority and then show us the gaming videos that you think we'll have an interest in underneath. But the top thing should definitely be all live streams. But that's just my opinion. YouTube obviously has a much better understanding of how these things work than I do. They have tons of data to work off of and a ton of people's personal information that they stole in some form or fashion. So I mean, hey, whatever. But that's at least what I think. Um, moving further down, you can also see other relevant things to you from what you've liked. 
and as you can see, it's relatively accurate, you know? Like, I haven't even done too much with YouTube gaming, but it figured out mostly the stuff that I would be interested in. Uh, yeah, it shows a lot of my stuff for some reason, but if you keep scrolling down that page, it'll just keep showing you gaming videos or gaming-related videos, gaming news videos, so there's a lot of chance for you to get some exposure with this whole thing. So now, looking at the sidebars, because YouTube gaming is relatively bare, we just covered everything that's in the middle section of this website right now. There isn't that much to see. There's also a side panel to the right, and if you hover over it, it opens up. That's the side panel to the right, and a side panel to the left. So as you can see, I actually have Minecraft added as my games. And the way you do this is by clicking on the star next to a game here. So Batman Arkham, Arkham Knight. If I click this star, it would add Arkham Knight to my my games list you know so I guess it makes it easier to keep up with who's streaming the games that you like which is of course a much welcome feature considering YouTube never had anything like that beforehand and um, you can also scroll down even further to popular games so it shows you most of the games that I think you would want to be interested in um, you know games that are popular and whatnot Terraria um, you have Grand Theft Auto 5 the menu is a bit it, it snaps out a bit too fast when you move the cursor off of it um, Kingdom Hearts 3 I don't think anyone's playing that right now, bro. Uh, let me see. Assassin's Creed, Team Fortress 2, DayZ, Dying Light. There's no Super Smash Brothers here, which kind of killed my erection. But if we search up Super Smash Brothers in the YouTube Gaming search bar, sure enough, it does pop up. We have to... Bros. There we go. And even shows us Smash for 3DS and Wii U. But because no one is streaming this game right now, because um, YouTube Gaming is relatively scarce... Or maybe no one's streaming Smash in general on YouTube. There's no streams that we can keep up with here. Now, one thing that's also a problem with YouTube gaming right now. <clears throat> if you click the ad button for Smash Brothers, nothing happens. Nothing happens. It doesn't add it to anything. The ad button only works for games that are in the sidebar. But if it's a game that you've searched up yourself. So if I search up Batman Arkham Knights. This might actually work. Because Batman Arkham Knight is a game that's already listed in the sidebar for trending games and popular games. So if I click this, it'll probably work. Nope, it doesn't fucking work. So even though I'm clicking add to my games, as you can see, only Minecraft is still added. So I feel like that's a bit of a glitch that they need to iron out on their system because if I can only have Minecraft added to my YouTube gaming library, then I'm gonna kill myself way earlier than I thought I would using this thing. So I know that's a very dark joke, but I mean, God damn, man, how much Minecraft can one person take? Um, let's look a little bit more into this. As you guys can see, yeah, so the only way you'll be able to add games at this point is if they're in the sidebar to the left, which makes things a little bit of a boner killer because if my game is not listed here or games that I like to follow are not listed here, then you will not be able to add them, even if you search them up like we just did Smash Brothers. A little unfortunate. I hope that they fix that by the time this whole thing releases, but I don't think that's something they can overlook. YouTube's definitely going to fix it. Now, if we look at the sidebar to the right, you can see all the channels that you're subscribed to on your own but one thing that I don't like is that it throws some channels in here that you're actually not subscribed to like I'm not subscribed to League of Legends eSports but it's still showing me them streaming this is supposed to be a bar that's totally dedicated to only the streams of people that you're subscribed to you know so PewDiePie I'm subscribed to him Markiplier KSI Lily Pichu who else am I subscribed to here um it's showing me, surprisingly enough, only gaming channels, which is understandable, but how the hell did they manage to distinguish who the hell is a game streamer from the list of people that I'm subscribed to? Probably because of YouTube gaming channel category tags, you know? Like, it usually lists out gaming videos, or rather, channels who have gaming as their focus as gamer channels. So, that's probably the way they did this. Like, I don't see, uh, I don't see somebody like the Hodge Twins up in this bitch. It mainly shows, mainly shows you the gaming channels. So, uh, let me see. Yeah, so, as long as it doesn't include... Like, I'm not subscribed to Machinima. Why the fuck are you showing me them? Like, the last thing I want is that evil-ass corporation listed in my damn subscription channel feed for live channels. I don't want to see anything live that Machinima's doing or anything that League of Legends is doing. I mean, these are things that I hope get ironed out by the end of this whole thing. Um, I can understand them trying to maybe push some popular streams in your feed because they're, you know, they're big, they're generating a lot of views and retention and whatnot, but I hope it's not done to an excessive degree, you know? 
Um, YouTube does give you that in the what to watch page, which I never really looked at too much. Some people do use the what to watch page. I'm not one of them, but who knows? Maybe some people will appreciate something like this, but I definitely would prefer to be able to take away these options if I had the chance. Um, so yeah, maybe in the future they'll allow you to right click and get rid of some of these things um, or to configure some of the options for yourself. There's no options menu for YouTube Gaming right now. There's no way to really change anything. Um, you can't really right click anything and get a, you know, a list of settings and whatnot. So you're basically just forced to deal with what they have right here for now, which is why I say if you didn't get access to the YouTube Gaming Preview, don't cry over it because really, in all honesty, it ain't shit right now. I mean, it, it's a nice looking format. It displays the information in a really cool way. And the aesthetics, like I said, are really nice. You know, it's a dark layout, I guess, opposed to Twitch's, you know, bright, sunny layout. Unless you modify it with add-ons, of course. But for the most part, YouTube gaming is dysfunctional right now. It's not even worth using as a regular browser for the streams until they come out with a later version or the final version, which will definitely have addressed all the issues that I highlighted in this video. So now, we talked about the overall layout of the front page because that's basically all there is to it. And then you can also click on a stream and see how that format works out as well too. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to click on this random Minecraft stream and see exactly what the fuck is going on. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to mute the audio. So now, here we are at a YouTube gaming live stream. Here's the way the format works. So on the right of the screen, it usually follows the Twitch format. Um, a lot of things YouTube Gaming does actually does follow the Twitch format to a T, but it tries to do so in a unique-ish kind of way. So the chat right here has um, circular-based icons, which is something that Twitch doesn't have. Twitch doesn't have icons at all, too. And I like the inclusion of them because the icons being there lets you see exactly who the hell is commenting, even if you don't read their name. There's a lot of subscribers that comment on my videos that I know only by icon and not necessarily by name all the time so this makes it a little bit easier to identify who is um, commenting on my stream that's usually somebody that comments on my vi videos normally you know so really nice feature there um, let me see what else is going on here it tells you the viewers right here um, like I said this format really isn't any better than the YouTube format for live streaming right now it just looks a lot better that's it but in terms of functionality it doesn't really have much going on it's basically the same as it is for YouTube live right now so like I said there's potential here for the future but as of now this is nothing that you need to get your hands on right now like, it, it's it's nothing you're missing out on um, you can highlight someone's name and it'll show you their channel information a little bit of it their subscribers their channel banner and their icon in a bigger view you can also click on the suggested tab you know, show you some videos that are related to the stream that you're watching. So that's sort of convenient. But I hope that when YouTube Gaming comes out for fully, that stream will also, I mean, excuse me, that tab will also show you other streams that are happening at the same time that are related to what you're into. Um, that'll only be able to happen once YouTube Gaming is kind of like spread across a bigger audience. So there'll be more streams going on. But still, this is all things that I don't think is YouTube's going to miss out on. They're going to definitely take advantage of this on their platform. So even though these features aren't present right now, I don't think any of your Jimmy should be rustled by it because these are things that are definitely coming later on. And then if we go to details, you can just basically see the details of the stream itself. A little bit of a better layout for streaming considering that, you know, before it would be a YouTube video and you'd have to click the description. Things are a bit easier to look at right now. Um... Yeah, so that's basically YouTube Gaming in a nutshell. There's nothing else to look at for now. And even if I click Add here, um, I don't know if it's going to add him as a um, channel I should keep up with or not. Oh, yeah, look at that. There, it does. there we go. Okay, so if you click Add on someone's channel at YouTube Gaming when you're on their stream, it's actually going to add them to my channels as well, too, and not just throw them in there with feature channels. Okay, so a little bit easier to keep up with. And even if you add them to my channels on YouTube Gaming, I don't think that means you're subscribed to them. If we try to go to his actual YouTube channel, it's not going to um, it's not going to show that we're subscribed. So let's go to his video here. Let me see. Is there a way to? Um, I want to kind of get away from his. Uh, I want to get away from his. Um, let, me, let me see here. So I'm going to go to his Twitch. And then I'm going to go to his regular YouTube channel link so you guys can see if I manage to actually subscribe to him. So, YouTube. There we go. So, yeah. 
the great thing about YouTube gaming is that you can add somebody to your, you know, to your live channel list to keep up with them without subscribing to them on YouTube. So subscribing to them on YouTube to see their regular uploads is totally separated from keeping up with their live streams, which I feel is convenient because sometimes maybe you don't like someone's videos, but you like their streams. Either way, it makes it so that you can keep track of whatever live streams are going on without having your sub feed bombarded with videos from the same person. I like the fact that they're separated because if I wanted to subscribe to someone and follow them through streaming, I can just do both actions, but I can choose what kind of content I want to receive from which content creator, which makes things really convenient for me. That's basically YouTube gaming though, man. We covered all the aspects that it has right now. I know some of you guys are gonna be wondering you know, about really, really important details. Let me know in the comments what you wanna know about because there's too many for me to try to go through right now. In comparison to Twitch right now, no, but the future is looking bright for it and I'm curious to see exactly where this is going to go in the next couple of months. YouTube gaming is said to be coming out later on in the summertime, man. So I feel like they don't have much time to get all these features implemented, but I know they're working hard in the background. I've heard it from them myself. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let me know what your concerns are. I'm going to be responding in the comments as much as possible to try to answer your questions. And if you have a really good one that I really can't answer, I'm going to try to see if I can bring it up with some of these representatives over at YouTube gaming to try to get it um, answered directly. Either way, guys, I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Once again, comment your concerns in the comments. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.